सम यूजर्स आफ्टर अपग्रेडिंग टू विंडोज इलेवन टू थ्री एच टू फ्रॉम विंडोज इलेवन टू टू एच टू और परफॉर्मिंग ए क्लीन इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ विंडोज इलेवन टू थ्री एच टू एक्सपीरियंसिंग रिड्यूस्ड सी पी यू परफॉर्मेंस अपार्ट फ्राम दिस गेमर्स रनिंग विंडोज इलेवन टू थ्री एच टू आर ऑल्सो इफेक्टेड बाई रैंडम स्टटरिंग और फेसिंग सडन एफ पी एस बैंड विद इशूज अकॉर्डिंग टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑल दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ विंडो सिक्योरिटी ऐप एंड यू नीड टू रीसेट इट यूजिंग सम कमांड्स विद सम एडिशनल स्टेप्स If you landed on this video then I presume that you are facing the same issue right so let's learn how to fix this issue so first thing that users who have upgraded to windows 11 23h2 can go back to 22h2 to fix the issue and upgrade later when microsoft fixes this issue unfortunately this solution doesn't apply to all users as microsoft has set a 10 day limit to roll back to an earlier version of windows 11 So let's learn another solution to fix the issue that is suggested by Microsoft itself. Before we move forward, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to channel as this encourages us in creating similar videos. Here is what you need to do. Click on the search icon and type Windows PowerShell. When it appear in the search results, click Run as Administrator. When the USC dialog box appear, click Yes to continue. In the Windows PowerShell. You need to copy paste this command and hit enter. After that, you need to copy paste another command and hit enter. Once you have executed both the commands, this will reset the Windows security app. After that, close everything and restart your computer. Now during the restart you need to enter BIOS on your PC. Once you are in the BIOS make sure virtualization feature is enabled. If not then enable it. I have already created a detailed video on how to do that so check the link in the description. After enabling virtualization in BIOS when PC boots up you need to open Windows security app. In the app switch to device security tab which is on the left side under core isolation click on the core isolation details link on this setting page make sure memory integrity option is on if it's off then turn it on and it will ask you to restart your computer before you restart your computer you need to perform one more thing open the windows feature turn on or off app Ensure that option for Windows hypervisor platform is checked. If it's unchecked, then check it. Now restart your computer. Once your PC boots up, this time you should observe that the CPU is working normally and you are not facing any stuttering issue while gaming. So that's all about this video. This is how you can fix reduced CPU performance or game starting issue on windows 11 23h2 why don't you try this solution and let me know if this fixes the issue if you find this video useful don't forget to like this video subscribe the channel for getting notification about whenever we upload new videos also if you find this video useful please donate using the link in the description as this encourages us in creating more videos thanks for watching